Hi there, my name is Sebastian and I would like to give you a quick introduction to Astron today. The point of this video is to give you enough information to decide whether Astron is the software that you are looking for and to give you a general overview of what it does and how it works. First things first, what is Astron? The name stands for a server technology for real-time object networking, which is also a pretty accurate description of what it does. It can be described as a distributed object system, but as is true with most labels, labels lead to wrong assumptions, wrong assumptions lead to flame wars, flame wars lead to time that could have better been spent actually implementing something. Astron does have some features which are geared towards games, but that should not stop you from implementing anything else that you feel that Astron is helpful for. Its original design was inspired by papers released by Disney, which in turn were based on their own in-house MMO engine online theme park, which was used to power Disney MMOs for 13 years now. It is meant to scale to a large number of users, being the descendant of an MMO engine after all, but at this time neither is there substantial uh, experimental data on how many users it can deal with, nor is development on performance improving features complete by any stretch of the imagination. Astron is currently strongly integrated with the Panda 3D engine, but if you want to use it with any other engine, fear not, help us on the way, libastron, being an engine independent client library for Astron, is in development. Once you've got your uh, game code up and running, you can use MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQLite or MongoDB to actually save your data, but on the other hand you are not forced to re actually persist your data at all if you don't want to. Astron is released under the MIT license, which means that you can do basically whatever you want with it, but it does not come with any guarantees at all. You can get its source on GitHub, and to get into contact with the community, you can join us on IRC on Freenode in the channel hash Astron. Two quick remarks on what Astron is not. First of all, it's not any kind of game mechanics on any kind of AI. It only does networking and state keeping for you. Anything that is actually going on within your games or your application, you will have and can implement for yourself. It is also not a finished product, again by any stretch of the imaginations. Actually, it is under very active and heavy development and quite a lot of fe uh, features are still uh, planned for the future. Also, some of the information that I am about to give you in this talk will be outdated in the future, but I will do my best to always point out those parts uh, that will f uh, change. Now that we've got the formalities out of the way, let's jump right into how things actually work. First of all, once things are running, you've got an Astron network, which is the centerpiece of an MMO network, or whatever your ap application really is. It uses databases as a backend for storing, well, data, and uh, both clients and AIs can connect to it. During operation, objects are created in that network, and they are forming a tree called the visibility tree. Parts of that tree can be marked to be stored in the database, which happens uh, completely transparently without any user interaction or further uh, code being required. Note that this doesn't have to affect whole objects, it can be configured down to the field, that is, certain attributes of an object. When clients or AIs need to interact with parts of the visibility tree, they are creating local representations of the relevant distributed objects in their local repositories, uh, these representations are called views. Different parts of the behavior of each object are implemented in different views, meaning that you never have to trust the client to execute a method exactly as you want to, you can simply implement it on the AI view of the object instead. Once views are created, method calls and field updates to the underlying objects get routed automatically according to how you uh, define uh, the distributed classes from which the distributed objects are instantiated. This concludes this introduction. In future videos I'll first go a bit more into detail about the internals of the um, Astron network and after that uh, dissect the Astron daemon and explain how its internals work. After that I will go through some code examples with you, followed with information on how to actually operate an MMO network. And after that I'll hopefully also find the time to go into more detail about what can be built atop uh, the client libraries. If you want to reach me, here's quite a lot of ways. 
The most interesting URL, of which is probably the GitHub page, is it also contains a repository with an example code on Astron, which is actually um, a configuration for the Astron network itself, a client and a server, which you can use once you've built Panda 3D and Astron to see it in action. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope that you found a shiny new toy that you want to play with. See you next time.